Just took the throttle commander, the red light bandit throttle commander off the C6 today. Uh, I was tired of driving with it. Check out that video if you guys have any questions about the throttle commander, but we're running into a little bit of a problem that I got a remedy with the 350Z today. show you the problem now. The problem is the brake lights are staying on. Figured it out, simple fix, we'll walk through it. This is obviously going to be a problem. The car's just sitting and the tail lights or the brake lights stay on. So I figured it had to be something with the brake sensor or switch or something. And sure enough, I got in here and jiggled the brake pedal a little bit. And these little bits of rubber fell out. So up in here, when you release the brake pedal, there's a little button in here that extends and that's what activates the brake light when the pedal comes back to its normal position it's supposed to depress that little button back in here and that's what shuts your brake lights off but that little rubber bumper was supposed to go up in this little hole in the brake pedal but now that it is gotten all you know broken up and old it fell out of there so there's nothing pressing that button in anymore so the brake lights are staying on so somehow I gotta figure out how to get this little piece back in there or just to kind of make my own little rubber bumper that goes in there. I wanted to sort of give you an angle so you could see it. This little hole right here. It's supposed to have a bumper in it to press this little, little button in. See a little plunger button? And that little hole is supposed to have a bumper in there. Let me get you a little better angle in here. I actually just took the switches out and there's a brown one on the bottom and the black one on the top. I think the black one is the actual brake lights. Uh, testing them out, you can see that when I depress the button on the black one only is when the brakes go out, brake lights go out. This one doesn't do it. I, I, this one might be like cruise control or something to do with analog brakes. I don't know, let me know in the comments below, but I've had the, the ABS light on the dash for a while and now that I'm looking at these old grommets, maybe that was the problem. Um, but actually, uh, I took the pin out of the brake pedal from the uh, from the assembly just to give myself some more room. And you can see these two holes and both of those little grommets or bumpers were are gone. I might actually just replace them with a couple of bolts, put a nut on the back side so we don't have to worry about them failing in the future. And I'll put these sensors back in and see if that uh, solves the problem. Uh, for now, I might put a piece of tape on the sensor just to get those brake lights off. I didn't take the, didn't disconnect the battery again. Got a couple small little bolts here. I should do the trick. Not on the back side. Let's see if I can film this. It was impossible to film, but you can see the two little bolt heads there. I'll put the sensors back in. check and see if the light's off. 
Thank goodness. Lights are off. Simple enough fix there, I guess. Now, I need to actually start it up and see if my ABS light or my traction control light is off. Everything's all buttoned up, sensor's back in place, and just to prove it worked, brake lights are now off. Great. So it worked out pretty good. A couple of small bolts in place of those rubber bumpers. Lots of traffic here tonight. Um, we eliminated the brake light issue. You can go ahead and replace those with rubber bumpers. I think they're like 13 bucks or something like that. I'll try to remember and put a link in the description below. You can get them from Z1 or eBay. Uh, I don't remember the Nissan part number, but they're, they're readily available. But you know, if you got a little hardware bin in your garage like I do, just grab a couple of bolts and a couple of nuts and stick them in there. and You've got a sort of a permanent replacement. They're not gonna wear out, right? Well, you might notice we got the car up on stands or we're getting the car up on stands now because we got a couple of long overdue projects to take on with the 350Z. Looking forward to getting, getting into it. Hope you guys will stick around and follow along. They may be of interest for you. So thanks for watching this one. We'll see you in the next one.